If you're anything like me, you like to draw and sketch and then incorporate this somehow into your design. So I'm going to walk you through the process of taking your drawings and turning them into vectors. So you can either scan your drawings or you can take a photo with your phone, which is what I do most often because I have my phone next to me. So if you've scanned your image, you don't have to worry about it. You can open it right into Illustrator. But if you've taken the image on your phone, it's best to go into the edit feature on your phone or an app like Afterlight. And then I typically will brighten the photo and I'll usually bring up the exposure and the contrast until I have a bright white background and the drawing, the lines in the drawings look dark. You can then either send it to your email and download it to your computer or use an app like Dropbox, iCloud, or Google Drive. Okay, go ahead and open Adobe Illustrator and then file, open, either your scanned image or the file that you saved with your drawing. And most of the time your image will be larger than your last artboard. So you can hit Command and the minus sign to zoom out. And then with your selection tool on the right toolbar or V on your keyboard, select your image and then Window, Image Trace. And then with your preset drop down, select black and white logo. And if the lines aren't showing up the way that you want, maybe they're not all showing, you can increase your threshold. Or if your lines are thicker than you would like, you can decrease the threshold. And it is very important every time you do image trace, you need to expand afterwards, which you can find in that top toolbar. Right click, ungroup, and then select your background. And then with that drop down arrow on the top toolbar, select fill and stroke color, and then delete. And that will delete all of your background. Now I like to go through and delete anything that I don't want, any extra lines that are showing up or I will start some sketches and I don't like them so I kind of mark through them. And then after that I like to group motifs. So with this acorn I'm going to use the selection tool via the keyboard and then right click group. And I like to move them around so it's easier to group other motifs. You can also select and then hit Command G on your keyboard. Just continue to go ahead and group everything. And then once you have everything grouped, go ahead and save your document. File, save as, and I like to save mine as Adobe Illustrator files. So name your new doodles and you're done.